Dr. Richard Monk of Toledo Children's Hospital is one of three doctors who are providing James Lee's medical care free of charge. The process to fix the club feet of a seven-year-old is much more complicated than a newborn. Well, to begin with, we're trying to stretch out the soft tissues because with the, with the, foot being as, the feet being as deformed as they are, the, the soft tissues are, are tight, and if we straighten out the foot, the, there's not going to be enough, n enough compliance in the soft tissue to allow the wounds to, to, to be closed after, after surgery. So. James Lee is staying with Dr. Edna Jean. She was born and raised in Haiti and immigrated to the United States in the 70s. In addition to housing James Lee, Dr. Jean is hosting two exchange students from India and Mali. Oh, he's been doing very well. He's progressing really well. He's a happy little boy and uh, very resilient. Mm -hmm. Even though he's not able to walk like all of us, but he jumps, walks, and, go and you know, do whatever, go downstairs, upstairs, the stairs. Very resilient young man. Even though I've been to Haiti three times, I know just a few phrases. When I visited with Dr. Jean and James Lee Wednesday night, this is my third time seeing him, and I greeted him with Como Ye, Haitian Creole for How Are You? He apparently was not impressed and said to Dr. Jean, is that the only Haitian Creole he knows? One of the groups instrumental in financing James Lee's trip to Toledo is the Toledo Starling Volleyball Club. Since his arrival two weeks ago, James Lee has been a fixture at their practice sessions. Our volleyball program decided, let's go ahead and help sponsor James Lee. Let's mm -hmm. give him an, an opportunity to, to improve. In, in Haiti, in any developing country, a deformity like that is an early death sentence. Dr. Richard Pott is another of James Lee's benefactors. He marvels at the seven-year-old's progress. It's amazing. Uh, even after Dr. Monk uh, cast him the first time, you know, we thought he's using a little walker. We brought him to our first volleyball practice the next day. He didn't want to use a walker. He's so resilient. He just mm. started walking on his own. And you can see him walk today. Mm -hmm. He's never mm -hmm. walked that mm -hmm. way before. Mm -hmm. But James Lee's medical journey has just begun. Uh, the best case scenario is yeah. that his, we'll get his feet straight and his ankles so that he's not walking on his tiptoes. And so his feet will fit into conventionally conventional shoes and, and his feet will be will be relatively comfortable. Okay, and how long do you think this whole process will take? Can you guess that yet? About a year.